Welcome to Movement Rx Weekday Mobility. I'm Dr. Teresa Larson. I am at CrossFit Elysium. Um, it's not a trend, it's actually a revolution here. Uh, I'm here with special guest Nat Fox. She's from Australia, a tactical athlete visiting um, due to mobility camp here. And we met through Dr. Kelly Starr at Mobility Watt. So I'm going to have Nat kind of introduce kind of why she's here. She's got this pretty awesome instrument that makes really loud noises. Um, and take it away. Hi, um, I'm a saxophonist and I've been in this for the last couple of years and I'm currently trying to basically get back into playing at a professional level. I am a professional, but um, I am struggling with injury. So um, I've been working with Teresa to try and get back into doing my high level saxophone playing to an extent that I don't have to worry about physios or treatment and look after myself, which is a big thing for us as musicians. Um, what kind of injuries were you dealing with before you came here? Um, initially I had a shoulder injury and I had surgery on that. And then I had two discs replaced in my neck at about C6, 7 and D5, 6. All right. So Nat has kind of got the runaround um, by a lot of practitioners in, you know, where she's living, and, and that's kind of common sometimes with athletes that come to see us, is that they've seen a lot of their practitioners, um, and the biggest thing that we've done here is kind of focus on proper positions, um, and, and not being scared to move, right? So obviously this nice contraction here on her neck is not ideal for the neck, so show us how you play. And go ahead and come a little closer, Ryan, so you can see. So if I'm sitting down, yeah. which is a lot of the time practicing, I'll be here. Or I'll be sitting like this sometimes. Okay. So after you get playing for a long time, what happens to your shoulders and your neck? So she starts to round here, and her neck starts to get that classic forward head posture. So the classic forward head posture, not a, not a <laughs> videographer, you're okay. Um, the classic forward head posture is not ideal, um, especially when you got the fan hanging off of your neck. So, and you got, how, how heavy is that saxophone? About two and a half kilos. Two and a half kilos. Um, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> uh, about five pounds, roughly. So that's still a significant weight pulling you forward. As we know, every inch forward that the neck sits on C7, uh, T1, that's 10, 11 pounds of pressure forward on your body. Um, that's going on her neck. So she has even more pressure going forward on her neck. So what are some of the things that you learn this week about your body that you can really help you? Um, basically creating stability in the hip joints and the shoulders and just ways to be able to keep my posture up and um, the right way to sit. That's the big thing. Because now I'm learning how to actually sit and play efficiently and effectively. All right, so show us that position. So. She's going to have to be very conscious of, like motor control wise, of the way she sits and how stressed out she gets when she's playing. She needs to be more relaxed. So um, shoulders are going to be pinned down and back. She's going to slightly tuck her chin because, again, if she just relaxes, her neck's going to want to pull forward because of the weight here. Um, now, what did you talk about with the breathing that was crucial um, that's going to help you relax? Breathing with your diaphragm and not with your shoulders, making sure that everything's relaxed at the top. Everything needs to be very relaxed and make sure there's no excess tension in the limbs. Right, okay. So just being able to learn how to sit and create the torsion, one of, that was one of the biggest things we talked about that week, is the torsion in the shoulders, the torsion in the hips, like how that much that protects the low back, protects the upper back. And it's going to help protect her neck. Because when you get that torsion, all that tissue on the back of your arm is wound up. And for her, she can hold that position. She's going to build stability strength there. And it's going to help protect her from creating that long creep, that creepy, creepy ligament, creepy vertebrae syndrome where discs start to slide forward, ligaments start to stretch out. And then she's got poor posture low back pain, herniated discs in her neck, shoulder issues because she wants to, you know, grab that dish out of the cabinet and now she hurts her shoulder because her shoulder's so far forward. So all of those things, now she's more aware of um, and she's been building from. So why don't you hand me the saxophone and I want you to show everybody, thank you, I'm not going to blow on it, I promise. 
even though I really want to. Um, <laughs> okay, show us that the, the mode that you like to do with the barbell. So this is very similar to the first rib mode. However, she's doing it to help stretch out some of those scalings that attach to that first rib. Scalings that attach to your vertebrae in your neck that go all the way down to that first rib area. Um, go on the other side. So this isn't her plane, this isn't the side that gets stressed the most, but what she's going to do is put the barbell right on top of her upper chop, even if she leans forward a little bit. Good. Stay nice and tight through the midline. And she's going to take her neck and side bend it away from the barbell. So right there, she's kind of getting into those tissues that can kind of clamp down on the brachial plexus and also the, the, the nerves that go into the arm, as well as decrease some of the tension that's pulling on the neck. So pretty legit mode. This is something that she um, was really like. There's a bunch of other ones she's learned this week, but in a nutshell, like the best part about the week is it's kind of opened up her capacity, uh, would you say, to not being fearful. I really wanted to blow that. Um, <laughs> not being fearful of your lead. So anything else you want to say about well, your San Diego trip and just being here? Well, it's been a great time working here. Um, as as a professional musician, I do play six to ten hours a day, and I don't get to choose when I play. So I have to play when I'm told to play. I do have outside times where I'm meant to practice, and I have performances outside of that. But And I do marching and everything. Pretty much my job is physical with an instrument attached, so it's very important that I get those stable positions set. Otherwise I fatigue, fall into those outside positions, and then, you know, ruin the the hobby aspect of it as well. Right, so it's quality of life and it's also endurance and um, being able to do Also, in here in San Diego, have your fun on a vacation. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you, Dad.